Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you are all really well. Today I am doing one of the most requested, one of the most searched for topics, and that is a capsule wardrobe. But this time, I'm not just going for a winter or spring or summer capsule wardrobe, I'm kind of gonna do a transitional capsule wardrobe that will take you from now through to the spring season. So this is like a winter to spring ultimate capsule wardrobe that basically can make work for now and then really easily make work for spring. So you don't feel that you're kind of wasting buying anything or wasting your wardrobe. They will be pieces that you can work for all seasons. I really thought long and hard about this edit. There's only 11 pieces that I'm going to talk about in depth. Um, they're all mix and match pieces. I've thought very thoroughly about the color palette as well that will take you from now to spring, that will be very wearable for most people. But as always, you can tweak it for your own style, your own lifestyle and your own wardrobe. So without further ado, let's get into piece number one. So I am so excited to share this piece. I actually weirdly got uh, asked a question about it on Instagram last night on a q and I did. And somebody asked what I thought of this bag. And I told them to wait because this video is coming. I have so many opinions on this bag and they're all good ones. So this is the Totem T-Lock bag. And this is in the smaller size. And it's this beautiful grained leather bag in the tan color. And I've actually had my eye on this bag for a while and also a tan bag to add to my wardrobe. Last summer, um, I remember thinking I needed two things. One was a tan pair of shoes, one was a tan bag. And this is just to me like the ultimate bag. So I got this bag via Matches um, and I'm actually partnering with Matches, which is just a dream come true for the first part of this video and the first two pieces that I'm going to be sharing. So I wanted to focus on new season, new in, but also very wearable, something that will really last in my wardrobe and fit this kind of capsule wardrobe feel and this to me is one of those pieces that will take you from summer to winter everything in between holiday bag but also um you know like with a black winter coat it really is that versatile and matches has such a good range of bags i just feel like their edit online and their curation of pieces is really the best. I actually think it really reflects my style personally. And one of my favorite things to do as well is look at their styling on their website and how they've paired pieces. So you can go on and not just see the bag, but actually see how it's styled too and get some inspiration, which I love. So anyway, back to capsule wardrobe and why I chose this. Obviously I said it works for all seasons, but also all occasions. So I love that you can basically tuck the strap in so you can make it a clutch. The shape of it's really nice in that it's kind of boxy, but also a little bit slouchy and casual at the same time. So it takes those two boxes too. I love the silver hardware for a change. I feel like a lot of my bags focus on gold hardware. And I actually thought the silver against the tan just felt so modern and fresh, but it's not too in your face. Like you could easily wear this with gold. Um, I actually am wearing it with the sunglasses with gold on. So because it's subtle, it's nice and easy to style with everything. And I love that the strap, you can make it more of a shoulder bag and then you can make it into crossbody bag too, which I'll just show you. So it sits really nicely as a crossbody bag. It actually goes a little bit longer than this, but I quite like them when they sit quite high up, but basically you can wear this bag anyway and it fits for all occasions. So that's why I included it within this roundup. So for my first look, I decided to style it with some slightly more wintry tones. Um, but I'll show you how all these pieces transition into spring. It goes so well with gray. I love the combination of the gray and the tan together. I just think it's, oh, I just think it's so good. Also cream and tan together are beautiful. And then I finished it off with some black boots. Black and tan work really nicely together as well. So that's my first matches piece, um, which I just know I'm gonna be wearing on repeat. So stay tuned for so many other styling videos with that bag. The next piece from Matches and the next in my capsule wardrobe will probably come as no surprise to you and that is a pair of sunglasses. Sunglasses to me are all year round. Um, they're not just a summer thing. It's actually really sunny today. Um, but I just think sunglasses make the outfit, complete the outfit when you're going out and about. So no outfit is finished without a pair of sunglasses. 
even if I'm just wearing them on my head. I just think they always look so good. So I went for this Bottega Veneta pair, um, which again, I actually had in my matches basket for a really long time. I have a few pairs of Bottega sunglasses and you know I just wear these on repeat. So they're a cat eye tortoise shell pair. And I actually spoke recently in my accessories tutorial video about having sunglasses that maybe are a little bit statement but also still go with everything. And this is like the perfect pair because they're a nice dark tortoise shell. They work really nicely pretty much with everything from like blacks through to browns and then obviously all other colors too. They've got the very subtle logo on the side. Again, because it's quite discreet, you can basically wear it with any sort of hardware. I love the kind of thick, cut eye shape, they feel so glamorous. They have a slightly vintage feel to them, which I love, but also still feel contemporary because they're a little bit chunkier too. So I basically wear these with every single outfit I'm gonna show you today, but no capsule wardrobe to me is complete without a couple of great accessories. And you know, sunglasses and bags are where my heart is at. So I'll leave links for those pieces below, but definitely go and check out matches. I'm sure you're all so familiar with matches, but they really have the greatest edit on there. Okay, so the next piece in my winter to spring capsule wardrobe is a gray coat. And like I said, I really thought thoroughly about this color palette. And gray is definitely one of those colors that I think looks chic in all seasons, especially this mid-tone gray. So it doesn't feel too heavy as we transition into spring, but it also works really nicely whilst it's still a bit cooler. Um, it also pairs very well with lots of lighter colors and the gray and the tan, oh, it just looks so good together. Um, and it just kind of gives a bit of a brightness and lightness to the outfit. I think so many capsule wardrobes just feel so samey, like black coat, white shirt, white t-shirt, black trousers. But actually you can still create that capsule look by bringing in a couple of different tones. And I think the gray just with the cream and the tan just works so nicely. Again, I don't think some of these pieces will be too surprising, but these boots are going to be next in my capsule wardrobe. They are sold out unfortunately, but it's the concept of the boot. I think a slim leg, it doesn't have to be a tall leg, a fitted boot with a low heel is basically the concept of this. Something that's comfortable, easy to walk in, not too high, um, but just kind of gives that slightly elevated feel. Definitely is one of those capsule wardrobe pieces that you can wear over and over again. So I styled them with the white jeans. You can then kind of balance out the color if you wanted to by adding a black belt to balance out the black boots. But I don't think you need to really, especially if you're going for heavier pieces on top, like a coat and knitwear. Um, I think that in itself balances out the boots, especially as they're not too chunky. Um, and the boots, honestly, they really just go with everything. So I'll find something similar to link below or something that creates the same feel and concept. Next are these Cos balloon jeans, which actually went down a storm when I shared them on a recent Instagram post. Everyone went wild for these jeans. Um, and I can see why they're such a good shape. I actually thought when I saw them on the website that they looked a little bit too exaggerated maybe, but in real life, they have a really nice fit to them as you'll see in the video. But I think these, this kind of like balloony style, they're actually called the arch jeans. Um, it's so flattering on so many different body shapes and they're so nice with different styles of shoes as well. Um, but I did think this lighter off-white pair will be the perfect thing to transition you from winter to spring. Again, it just brings that lightness to the outfit, but you've still got the thicker denim, so it will keep you warm. Next is a denim shirt. Just thinking about that color palette, I wanted to include a bit of blue in there and a denim shirt is a really flexible, versatile piece. Again, it just felt a little bit different from the white shirt and breaks up your outfits a little bit, but it's still just as versatile. So it pairs really nicely with the gray, with the white jeans. I've just thrown a cardigan over the shoulders with this as a bit of layering. But again, because it's denim, it just brings that extra warmth. If you did want to make it even more wintry, you could add a very fine roll neck underneath. And then this will be the piece that you take through to spring, take the roll neck off, and then just wear it by itself if you wanted to. But you can definitely layer this. This one's an oldie from Massimo Dutti, but again, I'll find something similar to link below. But the concept here is just a denim shirt, nothing too oversized that you can tuck in and out and layer up. 
Very much denim focused in this capsule wardrobe because I think you can dress it up and dress it down so easily and it's so comfortable. And I think it just gives a cool edge to your outfit. So my next piece is a denim maxi skirt. Um, and these I just find so versatile. Again, whatever the season, wear them in summer with some sandals and a tank top, wear it in winter with some boots and a roll neck. It really is one of those versatile pieces and just makes a change from your blue denim jeans. Um, I think this capsule wardrobe is all about keeping that wearable feel, but also just mixing it up a little bit um, with some new, fresher pieces for a kind of 2024 update on the capsule wardrobe. So the denim maxi skirt pairs really nicely with the denim shirt if you wanted to, but also with the other tops that I've got in this capsule as well. Um, and then it also works really nicely with the boots. And then I've got some other shoes, which I'm going to show, which will take you a bit more into spring. So I've kept the denim maxi skirt on and added this cream round neck jumper, which was in my first outfit. I think a cream round neck, again, the perfect piece to take you from now into spring and even in summer actually. I think with an, like an all white look will look so nice on those cooler summer days. This one is Almada and it's just like the perfect off-white knit. It's got a slightly creamy undertone. I love the shape of it. It's boxy, it's short so you can kind of tuck it in. You could wear it loose if you wanted to. It's got the perfect neckline um, and just the sleeves are great. The weight of it is really nice. So it's nice to layer with something underneath if you wanted to or just wear it by itself. You could wear this over the shoulders. I think it works really nicely with that lighter denim um, skirt. And then I've combined some tampons pieces within the look. So my next item to add within this transitional capsule wardrobe are these tan flats. Obviously these lend themselves a little bit more to warmer weather. Well, they do lend themselves to warmer weather more, but they work really nicely within this whole set. So you can either go for the boots if you wanted to, or the ballet flats and they work with everything from the denim skirt to the trousers I've got. And it just, again, adds that little bit of brightness, but very much a very wearable kind of mix and match color. Next are these gray Arkit trousers. Um, I've worn these so much. I got them last kind of early autumn, maybe September time, because I wore them when we went to New York. Um, and I basically wore them on repeat because they're really easy to wear. They're not too long either, which is what I love about them. They're a really nice shade of gray. Again, talking about gray being a color to wear with everything in any season. These trousers work with everything from ballet flats, even sandals in the summer will look really nice. And then more in the winter as well with trainers and boots. So definitely a very flexible pair of trousers by themselves. So one way to style them would be with the cream jumper and then adding in some tan accessories. But as I say, so many different ways you can style this one pair of trousers. And my 11th piece is this beautiful gray cardigan. Again, this is from Almada. If you're looking for really nice quality, very well made, very well designed knitwear, then Almada is definitely the one to look for. Um, but any gray cardigan will be absolutely fine and work just as well. You can go for different shapes if you want to. Um, I just went for this V-neck, kind of works more as a top, but also you can wear it as a layering piece. Throw it over the shoulders like I did at the beginning. Um, it works so nicely, just worn with the trousers in a more formal way, but also will work with the skirt and the white jeans as well. And then I just decided to mix and match a few pieces to show you really how versatile they are. So I've got the gray trousers on here with the gray coat. I've then decided to use the Almada jumper as a scarf, basically. Throw it around your neck, it just keeps you warmer in the winter and then wearing the cardigan as a top. You could then go for the ballet flats if it's kind of that weird in between weather or you could style it with the black boots so you can go for the exact whole same outfit and just a bit more wintry with the black boot. And then in terms of layering, you can use the denim shirt as your base layer. Add the jumper over the top if you wanted to. I've gone for the cream jeans with these two, the off-white jeans, ballet flats, but the denim shirt again just makes a great layering piece and also a great piece on its own as well. Then I've just swapped out the top back to the gray cardigan, which works so nicely with these um, barrelly shaped jeans because it's a bit more of a fitted cardigan. You can tuck it in and that's basically your top. And then you can even wear this outfit in different ways if you wanted to. You could wear this more of a kind of casual evening look and pop it with a heel. 
You can go for the ballet flats if you want to. You could go for the boots with like a black belt in the middle. There's lots of styling options, I think, just with this kind of one cardigan and jeans. And then finally, keeping the cardigan on, you can use the gray coat over the top add the boots, a little bit more of a wintry feel, but you still got that slight springness about the outfit with the white jeans and the tan bag. It just gives a bit of a lift to the look. And that's what I wanted this whole video to be, just kind of those pieces that actually have that spring feel, but will still keep you warm enough. And then that you can actually transition into spring by changing and tweaking a few things. So I hope that's been useful for you. Let me know if it has. Let me know if you're going to be creating this capsule wardrobe within your own wardrobe. Um, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see you in my next video. Bye.